everyone. Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Okay, so today we're going to plant our seedling trees three ways. Yep, three ways. Now, this is a bald cypress. Why is it called a bald cypress? It's the only cypress that drops its leaves. This is a wetland or a bog tree um, that has lived literally 200 million years. Actually, its relative, which is the redwood, um, can grow up to 300 feet. These are half of this. This could go roughly 120 plus. And um, what does it need? It needs wet. So if you have a wet area, the reason I'm buying and planting these natives because I have a wetland that I want to really bring in the cypress for many reasons. I just love the tree actually. And you can see that in the picture. Now, to plant it, we are just basically, can you see the roots? This has been dormant. I've kept it in a cold, dark place, but it's really wanting to wake up. This loves the water. And actually, these are kind of going extinct because it was over mined for the, um, basically the water resistant wood. So obviously it must have water resistant. So if you have a seedling, let me show you real quick. Okay, so here you can see, I'm actually stuck in the mud. All you have to do is push it down and pull forward. That's it, you don't have to dig really big holes. And these roots are not so bad. And then you just place it, and I'm gonna place it to where the top of the roots are, and then you release. Oh, it's gonna love this environment. This is where we released a lot of our animals. And that's it. Now, what's really important about this is to mark it. So, as you can see, I grow bamboo. And um, I could cut some of that and put around it and tape it basically. And so um, that's it. Planting a seedling tree, even though like um, I only have 25 of these to put in, seems an overwhelming task. It's really not. Now let me show you something else. What happens if I wanna plant one of these cypress trees here in the back of my yard where it's not in the wetland? Is it still possible? Yeah, you see them at the parks all the time. You have to do a, a little different when you plant it. Normally in the boggy area, I don't need to put anything with it. It goes straight in the natural habitat, which is a wetland bog. Here we don't have this. So I have something that retains water. So you could take peat moss, mushroom compost, and mix it with some basically any type of compost and I put it in here now that peat moss will hold the water so if I can't get down here to water it it's covered and then basically I am going to fill this with water now the ones down there I really don't need to water it's wet constantly down there. But here, I'm gonna have to. And the sun's gonna be an issue. So, what I do, and you'll have to cut these off later, is a tomato cage. Oop. I think I hit a rock. And when it gets hot, I'm gonna put like a old sheet, or anything that will block the sun from this because you don't want the sun on here yet. And they tell you to clean all around it, get rid of all grass roots and everything. When I planted all those thousands of trees and bushes, I knew I couldn't take care of them that way. So what I did is I let the grass go up around it and it was the shade. And um, I kept them all, really. So uh, this is the way to plant it if you're not planting it in the wetland. One more way. The third way to plant your seedling, your tree seedling, is in a container. And I plant a lot of container trees. One, it's easier in the fall to plant this, but um, conservation. 
information sends into the screen. And I'm water dormant. I can see that. So what I do is I put this the tree in here and then I have an area that I put it in the shade and put it on a container that I can water it or I can bury this whole pot in my garden. So when you do this, moisture is important and it's not getting the vitamins, the minerals from the soil. So what I'm gonna do, um, I guess equal parts of peat moss or mushroom compost, I'm actually gonna do one of each and see if there's a difference. So this fall we could tell. I'm just using garden soil, which is basically, it's got nutrients in it, but um, I think it's a little better than topsoil because it's got added benefit. Okay. And then compost, because remember, these are boggy plants. So compost, everything's decaying in the wetlands. So I'm mixing that in. Now, when you use peat moss or other medium like um, coconut shell or you know, whatever. You have to water really well before you put the tree in. It has to absorb. So just fill your bucket, put a hole in it, and just drop this in straight as possible. Try not to damage the roots. You know, the pressure will break it. And basically pack it down. You don't want a lot of air in there. And that's it. Third way. Now a lot of these I put in my containers with flowers. You saw that last year. Because um, it really is a place that I know I'm going to water it. And um, it gets sit in there for years. I wanted to really get tall some of these. Then I want to plant them. But um some fun facts about the bald cypress. It's one of my favorites. You saw the picture with Stefan in the tree. As they get older, they actually get hollow in the middle. It's not caused by insects and everything else. It's just them howling out. So you can actually walk into it. It's the coolest thing. But these normally live 600 years. They 1,200, but the oldest one is in Carolina, I do believe, and it's 2,600 um, years old, and um, basically it's still growing. <laughs> so I need whatever it has so I live longer. <laughs> but this Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm, we still have to plant our shrubs that are native as well. Um, have a great day. Please subscribe, like, and share. You should show them Penny. <laughs> Our foster cat is really getting really friendly now. Have a great day. Oh, wait. I forgot. Real Foot Lake, if you need a quick vacation, it's in the middle of Tennessee. And it has one of the biggest cypress in water that you could go through. It's amazing. Dog friendly. They have walkways through the water. And, um, I'm going to attach some pictures. I did another video with it, and I'll attach that in the um, description. You should click on that. But um, this will show you what these trees look like. It's amazing. It's like going back to the Jurassic era. Not that I've ever been there that I know of. <laughs> That's it. Bye.